Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we will be exploring hydro dipping once again. We will be post processing our 3D printed PLA prints, but this time we will be doing something different. One of our viewers shed some light on why our first experiment's results didn't come out so good. We were using cold water instead of warm or hot water. So we will be checking it out with warm water this time. I have a tub of warm water right here, so let's start. First, let's spray our paint down in the center and then spray our second one for a quick double color dip and see the results. Hmm, it seems like the blue actually doesn't work very well with hydro dipping. It doesn't stick on very well. Let's try with another print but this time just with the gray spray paint. Oh, it actually looks a lot better in my opinion than the first experiment and the first um, dip that we did today. I have a lot of silver paint left over, so let's try to dip another print in. Mm, looks pretty good. Let's try the yellow paint now. This one is a bit messy. It doesn't stick on very nice, but the paint also clogs together. So it seems like the silver paint is the best. So let's try one last dip with the silver paint. We'll slowly put the whistle in and then afterwards we'll wiggle everything off. I would say it's pretty nice. Let's take a look at the prints after they dried. The first print actually didn't turn out too well because of the blue spray paint, but the silver came out really nice. Other than the blue spray paint in the front that is crumbling, uh, the silver actually wrapped off, I mean, wrapped around the print really nice. Then the second one turned out a lot better with the silver paint, just the silver paint. Both this print and the next print that we're gonna see with the gem actually wrapped around really nice. The Benchy boat caught all the spray paint with such a big surface. The bottom of the boat looks pretty good. I would say the yellow didn't really stick though and it also clogged at the top but it looks okay at the bottom. The last print looked pretty good in my opinion. The whistle got coated evenly and nicely with no bubbles. Seems like warm water does give better results. Well, there we have it. We tried hydro dipping with warm water and it works a lot nicer than cold water. I actually quite enjoyed the experiment this time. It seems like warm water does do the trick. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Think Renew. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printing courses, Steam challenges, and a lot of stories from teachers on what they think of 3D printing and the future of it. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you did not, then thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experience you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.